How's it going, everyone, and good morning. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and welcome to the Kingdom Faith Outdoors channel, where we not only go fishing, but we we'll also spread the Word of God, the Gospel of Jesus Christ, you know. And I um, hope you guys are having a good, good, uh, good week, and also a good uh, weekend so far. And today we're going to get into... Uh, Psalms uh, 46 through 50 today. And uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and pray first. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Father, you are holy, righteous. Lord, you're the King of kings and Lord of lords. Father, we ask of you in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us, Lord, to understand the goodness of your word, to understand the goodness of who you are. Lord, we uh, ask that you would forgive our sins, Lord, and uh, Lord, we confess our sins to you, Lord, we repent, and uh, wash us clean by your blood. We thank you for all that you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's get into the word. Psalm 46. Psalm 46. To the chief musician, for the sons of Korah. A song upon Alamoth. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Amen. Uh, 47. Psalm 47. To the chief musician. A psalm for the sons of Korah. O oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob whom he loved, Selah. God is gone up with a shout, the Lord with a sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises unto our King, sing praises, for God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. Mm -hmm. God reigneth over the heathen, God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of the God of Abraham, for the shields of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. Amen. 48. Psalm 48. A song and psalm for the sons of Korah. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion, on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled, they passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled, and they were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. 
Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. Amen. 49. Psalm 49. To the chief musician, a psalm for the sons of Korah. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline mine ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the harp. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my heel shall compass me about? They that trust in their wealth, and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever, that he should still live forever, and not see corruption. For he seeth that wise men die, Likewise the fool and the brutish person perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beasts that perish. This their way is their folly, yet their posterity approve their sayings. Selah. Like sheep they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. Selah. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. So while he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee, when thou doest well to thyself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers, they shall never see light. Man that is in honor, and understandeth not, is like the beasts that perish. Amen. Last chapter, chapter 50. Psalm 50, a psalm of Asaph. The mighty God even the Lord hath spoken, and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come, and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above, and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heaven shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentedest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself. But I will reprove thee, 
and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I shew the salvation of God. Amen. Well, what do we have here? <clears throat> we see the various themes and expression of praise and trust in, in Lamentation. In chapter 46, we see God is our refuge and strength because we always need Him in a time of need. In chapter 42, we see the, you know, clap your hands, all you people. Chapter 48, we see the broken bondage. Chapter 49, we see the essence of wealth. In chapter 50, we see the mighty one, calls. The psalmist called upon the nations to worship and, and acknowledge the greatness of God, highlighting His majesty in the secure, security found in His, in His dwelling place. That's the, that's the essence of this psalm. It's so, so incredible to see how God uses psalms to, to really understand the importance of worship. You know, so I hope you I hope you guys are doing a uh, wonderful week weekend, and um, that's about it for me. So may God bless you, may God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.